people, service, chivalry, and creativity. For if any of these are lacking, the kingdom fails. The artists and artisans of the kingdom glorify it with their work, and the teaching of their skills brings to it the life of learning. Let the members of the Order of the Laurel attend upon their majesties. We are minded to admit Marjorie Garrett to your right noble order. Let her now be brought forth. Teaching, teaching always everything that she learned at the drop of a hat. Um, her costuming is excellent. She does research, looks into all different kinds of styles, knows what she's doing, and does it uh, as, as her needlework and her actual putting things together is excellent. Her workmanship is always better than I would even dream of being able to do most of the time. And, uh, her skill level and research are excellent. Mr. Solano, would you have words as well? I do. If you could, please. <laughs> uh, the other part of, of the peerage process is by Kapora, which is looking for peerage level qualities. And as uh, Mr. Sporgana said, uh, uh, I too have known this lady for a very long time and have watched her grow to a woman and have watched her grow and continue in honor and courtesy and, and mothering instincts. Uh, she dances, <laughs> she she uh, plays chess, she does all those things required for a peer to know. And I'm pleased to welcome Marjorie, mindful of the honor you have brought to this our kingdom by all of your accomplishments in the arts and sciences, and mindful also of the wishes of your peers, it is our intent to admit you to the order of the world and now accept from us this honor. Will you now give us your word that you will henceforth comport yourself as befits a peer of this realm as you most surely have until now, and that you will further attempt in all your endeavors to be a noble example to our people. Will you promise further to treat all with courtesy and to uphold the laws and traditions of our kingdom? Will you now swear fealty to the kingdom of the West? To your liege, before your peers, swear your oath. This do we hear, and we shall remember it always, and we for our part to swear fealty to you, Marjorie Garrett, to support, protect, 
and defend you and your household with all of our power until we should depart from our throne or death take us or the world end. So say we, Rolf, King of the West. So also say we, Aurora, Queen of the West. Then do I now proclaim you, Marjorie Garrett, Mistress of the World. on the back. Um, I wore it at, at one point it was past me. Um, we, we recollect that it has been down to Central Kingdom uh, several times and passed back. Um, it was passed to Master Bjarni. Um, yeah. I think from Master Bjarni it went to Morgana directly. I'm not sure there was anyone in between. And this comes from the hand of uh, Mistress Morgana. Uh, Rock's the only one that has the history, so we have to get that copy. Yeah. But, uh, but the intent is for you to wear it for a while and cherish it and pass it on to the next. Arise now, Mistress Marjorie, and greet your peers. I, I, I think there's probably another uh, piece of this piece I'm really observing here. Oh. <coughs> As has been pointed out in my wonderful wife's studies, she has made, from research, a period belt. What's your permission? <laughs> Your Majesty, may I read the proclamation? Let the proclamation be read. Be it known that their majesties, Ralph and Aurora, King and Queen of the West, do on this day elevate their subject, Marguerite Garrett, to the right noble order of the Laurel, and do confirm her right to bear arms by letters patent. Done by our word and hand this third day of no, yes, third, 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 December in the forty-sixth year of the Kingdom of the West. Rolf Rex, Aurora Regina. Permission to greet. Yes, permission to greet, please. <laughs> 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 